skill laner on Corrupted Keep, something that we see Cypher pick fairly regularly. Um, keen to see what kind of damage he's going to be able to do with that. We've got Anarchy, we've got Scale Bearer from Victor, we've got the Ranger, then the Nyx to finish off he, with Cypher. He's tossing up. Do I want Clutch or do I want no, Ace or Lag? I am so hyped to see a Scale Bearer. I've I said it's I wanted true. one earlier. I saw one earlier. It was such a disappointment. <laughs> I want to see a good scale bearer. I want to see some more rushes. It's unusual for me not to see Victor picking Clutch, if I'm honest. But if he's <laughs> if he's anything like uh, Anarchy with a scale bearer and or anything like his Solag, then we could see something I mean, really we, impressive. We've done a lot of analysis today. You wouldn't have heard it because you've been playing and losing. But um, <laughs> I personally think that Clutch now is not as strong on Corrupted Key. I think that's partially due to the fact that, uh, I say partially, I mean almost exclusively due to the fact there's not that many hourglasses anymore, so you can't reduce yep. the timer on your extended cooldown. Yes, uh, and there's definitely. only three separate on each side of the map. Exactly. It just so you ha And there's no real way to get away on a map like Corrupted Key because it is so small they can pressure you, plus that HP change has had a huge knock-on effect in that you cannot man fight to the same degree. And if you can't back off to protect yourself, and you can't back off to these health pools and extra armors, three, you're going to struggle. Yeah. So, no, I think mixed it up as well. I think you're absolutely right, but we are going to get set with Cypher and Victor here in the round two winner bracket game for the Quick World Championship qualifier. And uh, Cypher starting things off versus things. Interesting thing to point out is that actually Cypher really doesn't get on when he goes up versus an anarchy. So he's got to avoid any kind of uh, anger. And if Victor can deliver there with a shot, he could look good. But that is a, such an early frag from a Cypher. Victor going to be wondering what on earth is he playing at? He hates Anarchy, but he just destroyed it. And I'm sure he's very, very happy. Uh, That's a relief. Way too aggressive by Victor. He's too weak to do that. And there's the algae here from a Cypher. Got to watch out for that acid spit that might come out at some point. Um, but I think one thing, uh, another thing to note is the experience difference competitively. Victor right now has got to be careful not to get in his own mind too much. That was a, a ghost walk that Victor would have just noticed. So maybe he's going to try and pick a fight in a second. He's going in with the acid. He's done a fair amount of damage, and this should be Cypher going down. Yep, that is going to be one champion apiece. He only had 14 health left. Couldn't be a better time for that mega health to come up. It is uh, one of those abilities that people do underestimate, and um, Victor's Sorag is super strong. But I know you're just looking forward to Scout Bearer Secret. I am, so just please die quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to have five seconds of his abilities up again. That uh, Dire Orb not going to do much. Victor looking to health up somewhat. And now that his ability is there, then he's going to be far more of a threat. Also, that Dire Orb gone now. There's much less mobility for Ranger. They use the acid. So Very much good. damage against him. They're both going to go down, and they will be ended with Galena versus Scalebearer. We have the Scalebearer Zoot. Now, what I, what I like a lot is that the health pool on Cypher's... Okay, here we come. Oh, just about misses him. He's taken a lot of damage. Cypher's gone down to the lower end of the map, so he can't aggress too easily. But this is something to watch out for. Looking for some kind of machine gun damage. With 20 seconds left on his ability, even that, the mobility is very important for him. But the bull rushes, people obviously... Sorry, Karen. Ow, that's a lot of LG He's damage. Dead. To stop standing in the doorway and maybe you won't die. That would be a wise choice. I was about to say, people relate the bull rush to aggression, but it's an exceptionally good tool for defense as well to get away from situations you're not comfortable in. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, Victor just died there, but he didn't have a tool to get away, so that was partly the reason. Maybe he's seeing that the small champions, he's got more the bigger likelihood of being able to bull rush them down and <laughs> get the kills easily. Because it is, aside from Anarchy, it's large champions versus small ones. But we're getting started on the second round. Cypher going to be using that Ghost Walk fairly early on. Doesn't want to chase, just wants to stack up on resources a bit. And uh, with those limited amount of shards on the map, he is going to be definitely hoping that Ghost Walk comes up sometime soon. Yeah, and uh, I think Victor's going to play a little bit more carefully after seeing that Cypher's obviously very, very comfortable in playing against this Anarchy at the moment. And he will want to get the kill. If he knows that Ghost Walk's been popped, he's going to go for it. But they're going to split on either sides of the map and get each other's respective resources. Great defensive rocket there from Cypher. We've got some, some damage coming out from Victor, but he's taken so much LG. 20 health left. If there's any way for Cypher to chase, then he'll definitely go for it. Rocket was incredibly close. But with 30 seconds left on the Ghost Walk again, it's... Squeaky bum time for him. 
and a limited health pool, both of them limited, is whoever really gets that first rocket is, is likely to win the engagement or force the other one to flee. Exactly. Yeah, the Bell G. And that's why they both have to trade. This could hurt a lot for Cypher. He's got that exit route planned out the hallway, and he's got a very fast strafing anarchy leaning towards him for just a moment. Well, this is, a, this is a big chance for Victor. He's got a much larger stack, and that rocket is actually going to be landing. Victor scoring that first frag, and it's good because he didn't lose the Anarchy early on. It's a champion that Cypher doesn't get on with when he's going against. Maybe this could be a really uh, profitable round for the German player. Um, you can see Cypher mixing up his, his pick order because the Anarchy's still alive, and I think he's on for the Galena so he can actually take stronger positions with the totems and force Anarchy into uncomfortable situations. Oh, that totem came out and he just uh, missed the, the explosion. Uh, that's one thing that Victor's going to be very keen on doing is ensuring that he's not going around the corners too quickly where there's likely to be a totem. He is going to make sure he's cleaning the mines from the map. Yeah, and that's exactly what Cypher's doing. He's taking... He did fall down, but he's taking those strong positions in the mid ground. The oh. drop. Victor, why would he do this? He's done so much damage against him. I Victor might regret that. Just a mistake, I think. I don't think that was any intent on his part to fall down. Or maybe Nerves playing uh, into this a bit in that case. Uh, usually his movement is top quality. Not when you've got Cypher running at you. Just your mind just doesn't seem to work right when you're going up against a player of, uh, of Cypher's influence. Yes, it's good by Cypher. He's just slowing it down now. He's got the items relatively split. Oh, the oh, no. damage. Uh, wow, absolutely destroyed. The acid didn't land directly, so it didn't do much damage aside from the, the damage over time that it does. And Cypher making it look very easy. Scale bearer, is he going to have any impact whatsoever, or are you going to be disappointed yet again? <laughs> oh my gosh, I really, I really hope there's some exciting bull rush. You get a bull rush just off the map or something along those lines. Yeah, no, nice little bit of uh, long range damage, actually. Can't complain about that. Mega up. Oh, that's a great rocket. He might even consider the ball rush at some point, but doesn't want to walk into a truckload of rockets. Those long range tr uh, trades are always going to favor Cypher here. He has an item to fall back on, particularly since he's hitting a much larger target as well. So he's generally going to have a higher damage output. But now Victor, Victor's doing a good job as well. So this is this is what you want to do if, you, if you're not in control. You just try and take a strong position with some back outdoors. Ooh, there's a chance he maybe could have fought for the, the Mega as well if he bull rushed towards it. But uh, a little bit uh, aggressive. There's one minute left and Victor needs to get himself a frag if he wants to see himself stay in this round. Uh, otherwise, he is going to be 2-0 down on map one. Good LG there from Victor. Cypher, very little to no damage return at all. This comes the bull rush. Which way is he going to be turning up? There's the rockets out from Cypher. Great defensive play. The totem there to do the damage, and it's going to be a mutual frag, which is going to mean Cypher takes it 2-0, having that champion left on the side. Nearly had a good bull rush. Nearly. But Cypher's reaction. Yeah, but the counter was good. The counter, the counter was, was rocket jump away quickly. It was the right time to use the bull oh, rush, no. I think. No, they, they both did well. Wrong. Cypher's rockets were just better. As simple as that. I think we'll say that a lot about Cypher and whoever his opponent turns out to be. <laughs> it is a common theme. Uh, Cypher again here on uh, the third round, uh, looking to get a uh, uh, an easy first map, just to keep things comfortable. I think uh, not a soul or few souls expecting him not to qualify to Quick World Championships uh, for some way or another, be it a winner or loser bracket. And uh, after that land two weeks ago, oh Ooh, my lovely. god. What a rocket. Cypher not expecting that. Map's not over yet, buddy. He's gone back to the Galena again for the second pick. I think Victor, there was a totem that was just put up there, so I think Victor thought twice about going through the teleporter. And he's going to have to uh, clear it away at some point. A long time till items are up. And they are split as well, which means Victor can get on both. You've got that speed, and you can do it. Cypher's just not showing himself, which is the right move. Good damage. Oh, Totem is going to be blocking the entrance. And Mega will be taken by Cypher. Rocket doesn't hit anything at all. He's going to get that speed boost from using the injection and try and get himself onto the armor. And uh, Cypher just trotting along mem mem uh, merrily. Timing. Good LG from him and absolutely devastated. One champion down each.
He's just been able to catch the Anarchy off guard every single round. It's been really, really great play. I think he's going to hear him down below in just a moment. And maybe Cypher's going to try and make a play for both the items. Five seconds till armor. He already did that clunky rocket damage beforehand. And it's Victor trying to get on the armor he cut. Oh, he just about makes it right at the end. Denies it from Cypher. But at this point, I wouldn't be worried about that. I'd just be worried about your one frag away from losing that first map. The ball rush coming through, oh, and he no. kills him just before it gets there. My poor scale error. <laughs> and the totem placement as well, just at the right no, time on top perfect. of that. He's Galena, and he's one of the few people that really plays Galena well. It didn't die, mm. let's put it that way. But yeah. what Cypher did particularly well there is that he, he understood Victor wanted to be very aggressive. And for the most part, Cypher just positioned himself in a way in that he could do damage and get out every single time. Mm. The only time he died is when Victor caught him off guard, coming through teleporter, etc. So it was just nice, smart, simple play by Cypher, and Victor, in a way, played into it. What What do you think Victor could then do to improve, to not lose? I think that map doesn't suit Victor's playstyle, and Cypher is very obviously it's his pick. He's extremely good on that map. Um, so going into the next map, I think Victor just needs to get on the rail and try and then when Cypher's not engaging, try and pick him up before he pushes in with a bit more of a rail game. If he's going to be playing on using Anarchy as well on Blood Run and getting those sort of drive-by rails uh, as he does, that's something that sort of grates on you a little bit more if you're someone who's uh, who's maybe not an Anarchy picker themselves. Yeah. And someone like Cypher who might uh, be, uh, I don't know, very... Um, we know Cypher hates towards Anarchy. It. Yeah, Let's he's, put it that way. he's vocal about his hatred towards... The wild playing. It's just, I don't know. Maybe he'll, hopefully he won't Ooh, be shouting too much. <laughs> but I know, yeah, there's, there's you, you get uh, a little bit frustrated. I th I'll put you in the sort of Cypher park as well. And then Vu as well. You're, you kind of have equal reactions, I think. But uh, that gives us Anarchy players a chance. You're bringing gives us up a hope. raw memories for me right now. <laughs> well, I, one thing that uh, was noted on uh, some previous commentaries as well is that if Victor's aim can be at that world-class level combined with his ability to move and control a map like, uh, with Anarchy, mm -hmm. then he can be an absolute force to be reckoned with. Oh, for sure. His, for me, it, it looked a bit shaky. I don't know if that's just his style. I haven't watched too much of him or whether it is that nerves. The only consoling thing is he's playing at home. So is Cypher, yeah. both in their comfort zones. It, mm -hmm. does, it does help a little bit. So I think he, he, he just needs to get around on the board and say, look, I, I'm in this game. Mm -hmm. Once that happens, it does have a huge effect on a player to think, yeah, I'm competing. Because when you get whitewashed 3-0, I think he killed Cypher two, maybe three times across mm -hmm. the whole game. Yeah. It's quite demoralizing. But then you think, OK, it's not my pick. I didn't play my best. Let's get on the board. Mm -hmm. No, I, I rate Vic Victor. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't get around at all on Blood Run. We're going to go through the picks right now. We've got the Anarchy straight away. Nyx to follow up Victor. We've got the Nyx Ranger and Galena there from Cypher. And Victor, what's he going to pick at the end? Because Again, he's taking Clutch his time. was a pick for him. Yeah, he's taking his time, which shows to me there is something he's considering. And it's not Clutch, He just doesn't think the Clutch is worth it anymore. It's... It's difficult on Blood Run, I think, because, okay, there are there's seven hourglasses, but they're spread quite thinly across the map. And with the, even though Clutch's mobility is quite good, you also don't want to run into your opponent while you're just collecting and, you know, hoovering up those hourglasses anyway. True, but if you flip it on the flip side, if you flip it on the flip side, <laughs> um, I'm it's back to normal. Yeah, but <laughs> it really does. But no, if you flip that, if you run into your opponent in a hallway and you have a shield and you have a rocket, mm -hmm. they are going to die. Yeah. Um, and I, I think now the, the new version of Clutch, if you want to call it a new version, is actually going to be quite strong on Blood Run because of that reason. And then you can back off. You mm -hmm. can defend yourself. There are a lot of defensive positions. Even if you are a, a big fat robot, mm -hmm. you can sit on a corner and you can spam some rockets. And they really can't push you. So you can wait until your shield is back up. So it, again, it's very, very playstyle dependent. But I think Clutch can be a strong pick. Yeah. But he doesn't go for it. He goes for Sword Lack instead. No, that's obviously fair play. It looks like we're getting started. This is map number two. Cypher is one map up and uh, can uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel about qualifying um, to the Quick World Championship. And uh, Victor, <laughs> Victor, Victor was died. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have a restart. We, we might have a little uh, technical timeout while we get things uh, started up once more. So uh, Victor will have to, uh, Good. Uh, to wipe his memory clean of that. Hey, be nice to Anarchy, okay? <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. There's completely undeserved Did you pick, did you pick Anarchy today? Uh, I picked Anarchy for all my games. And how was it? Did um, fine. 
<laughs> that was fine. That's fine. Here, yeah, it was fine. So my objective was to. I, I wanted to support you. That's why I. No, I didn't throw, but I was just generous with my aggression. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the worst lie in the world, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I had a lot of fun. Tox lost, and I, I really wanted to see a Toxu playoff for quite quite quick on. Uh, it's it wasn't going to happen, I'm afraid. I thought I'd actually do better versus Agent, and I know everyone's like, "Well, you're obviously going to lose," but I, I <laughs> thought I, I would do a little better than I did. But um, it is not the, clutch. It's very addictive. Off. This environment and playing in this environment is addictive. So I want to just keep. So you want to become a pro? I want it to be like, like uh, not a loser bracket. It needs to be like a double loser bracket, so you get like three lives. So <laughs> that would be great. The losers, like, losers yeah. bracket. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, that's called the house's death. <laughs> Um, I'll have to talk to some tournament organizers to let me just have that anyway. Uh, I want to talk about actually the Garpy Cephas yeah, game a little please. bit, just as we I wait for this game to go up, because that was really tense. And obviously, uh, uh, certified Maestro pro, pro player now. I'm very emotionally invested in the performances That's of all those That's a stretch. Players. It's fine, just go You have with a it. shirt, just doesn't just mean you're a player. It. I have an Arsenal never, shirt, do I've I pay for Arsenal? Shirt. They made me it pay for It has my name shirt. on no. it as well. <laughs> um, they had a very tense match. Garpy has been feeling a little bit angst uh, over the whole morning, pretty much. Yeah, he went I'd against Razy, and he got absolutely crushed. And we were thinking this is a guaranteed win. I warned him about that this morning. I spoke to Garpy, and I said, be careful. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, it's fine. He said I he wasn't feeling him. comfortable. Honestly, all, all he was saying he is he wasn't... every it, land. <laughs> every land he says this. But, but it, with Seth, this, it went to a tiebreaker map, and uh, it went 2-0 in favor of Seth. Is. And then the, the next three uh, rounds were five minutes long plus each, with only one frag deciding the game. That's a lot of stress. That is a lot. That you could tell. And honestly, the, the tension behind Garpy, because obviously Cephas is playing at home, is it, I was, yeah, I it saw, was yeah. powerful. But the relief after the win was... What map was it, sorry? Uh, they played Blood Covenant as the tiebreaker. Ooh. And uh, it tended to be sort of Anarchy versus Ranger uh, most of the time. Have you seen the other results today? Uh, I've seen a handful of results. I've heard the results so of the agent of the game. Just to recap, you Kilson beat Sturmy 2-1. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kula uh, would be evil 2-0 mm -hmm. very easily. Mm, I um, heard of that, yeah. Strengths lost to Avec. I sat behind Avec during that game, and there was also, you, you could feel the tension. I, I sat briefly behind the strength, and he was just saying, focus, focus, yeah, focus, yeah. when he was doing fine at that point, but you could just, tell. Just a bit of uh, gentle gossip. Have you seen Strength's mouse pad? I've not. It's I was what, it's fine, but I didn't It's the fir It's like, it's the first mouse pad he ever had as a pro gamer, so it's like 10 years old. Seriously? It's like playing on tarmac. Do you think at that point it's a bit like a superstition of some sort? No, it's 100% superstition. It's also 100% gross, but... <laughs> um, yeah, Just I mean, we are, for, the, for you guys at home, we are upstairs in the casting area, and downstairs all the players are mm -hmm. obviously in the playing area. This is self-explanatory, but you can hear the tension. Sometimes you can feel it, like when Strengths is smashing his uh, <laughs> his mouse. You can feel it when you're um, when you're casting, when you're analyzing, and it's this is a hot and tense place. Everybody wants to go to the Quake World Championship. It's the biggest tournament for Quake. I want to go. Th they want to, well, you can go as maybe a spectator. Maybe yeah. we'll be lucky, VIP. we'll be able to sit, and we can yell at each other there as well. But, you know, we don't want to ask for too much. <laughs> Depends how nice. Please. <laughs> uh, it's going to be incredible. The, the nerves are absolutely crazy. Well, I mean, like uh, like, um, like Red Eye said at the very, very start, and you probably didn't hear it, but this is the event Quake players have been waiting for and dreaming about for, I don't want to say 15 years, because esports was, we, we, we kind of created esports, but for at least like five, six, since like Quake Live, this is like, this is the culmination of everything we wanted and worked towards. So yeah. it's... And it's that same group of players that's kind of matured with the game. What I find interesting, again, is that all these experienced players that you're used to seeing at the top end of brackets and used to seeing at some previous events in Quake Life, they are feeling the nerves a lot. Yeah, and that's this is something they wouldn't have before. Like You expect them to be completely stone cold, exactly. you know, dead to it and just focusing on the game. But there's a lot of people who yeah. are struggling we a saw, lot with just we playing their game. We saw Tox earlier really shaken. Um, and this is probably one of the most successful and naturally gifted Quake players of our time. Mm -hmm. And he was he visibly shaken by the game and the stress and w the importance of it. And he had a loser bracket to fall into. Yeah. It wasn't like he's like, I'm going home if I lose. It's, I have to win. I need to be at the Quake World Championship. Yeah. 
You just want to get those early wins, though. You don't want to oh, go yeah, down to lose the sure. bracket because the road then to get to QuakeCon is... You have to uh, go through Zoot. You have to go through... Uh, there's just... All right, enough. There's <laughs> just so many more matches to go through. I think you've got to win four games in the loser bracket if you were out in the first no, round. No, I know. I know. It's, it's not the road. You want to clear it up by midday, be like, happy days. I'm in the Quake World Championship. Go to QuakeCon. And I don't need to worry about anything now. I can just focus on sacrifice if I'm in that, or I can just focus on uh, maybe getting a drink at the bar or something. Is that what you're going to do later? Uh, I'll be drowning my sorrows. Uh, <laughs> sure. uh, Are you looking forward to sacrifice on sacrifice? I am very much looking yeah. actually to sacrifice. I think it's going to be absolutely unbelievable. And the level of teams here, I mean, it, it was a, it's a shame that NA doesn't have quite the same standard, but at least, uh, you know, I think something that we can be proud of on the EU side. Uh, but following that, guys, uh, there is a technical issue going on with Victor Cypher. We'll be back in just a few moments where we're going to bring you the rest of the game. See you in a second. I will confess, I took the idea from a movie. I saw The Eraser, this movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought the gun they had was really cool. So I came into work the next day and I talked to one of our programmers and I said, hey, I got this idea. It's like a rocket launcher but it's instant. We find that people either love it or they hate it. The game's fast, it is fast, and you can hit anyone basically anywhere in the map instantly. People that are really good with the railgun are very, very dangerous. You know, one lucky shot can change your life, and that is definitely something that you see a lot of in competitive play. The Quake games have always been about cool ideas, that we throw into the game and we see how they play. I never thought the railgun would be as iconic as it is, but you can never plan for iconic greatness. You just make great stuff and hope everyone loves it. Making maps, I believe, is the best part of video game design because map design is where the rubber meets the road in design. It's what people experience, it's what people play. So if you've played Quake Champions, you can see that we've borrowed a lot from some of the levels that we created you know, almost 20 years ago. One thing we did early on in the project was try to find out how we could replicate early Quake 1 maps, but with a modern visual style. They look amazing. They feel like you're in a space, in a world that's engaging and it's fun to play in. There is certain things that you can build in every map that if you add those elements, it will probably be a good map. Give room for a player to build up speed, to launch attacks, to kind of sneak around. If the distances are good, the combat spaces work. Uh, one thing we do is we have very vertical environments so that you always have to be aware of your surrounding and it's uh, very you know, Twitch-based. Combat will come at you really from any direction. Every room is identifiable, that it feels unique, so you can always know where you are. So when you're in a quake level, you know it. It's not a corridor shooter. It's not a city block somewhere in the desert. It is a true over-the-top arena. What makes a good quake map, it feels like quake. There's no real scientific definition of what makes a good map. It's really a gut feeling. You just kind of know. Back to the commentary desk, ladies and gents. Uh, we are going to be going back into the Victor versus Cypher match in just a second. I'm Zoot uh, with ZSX, and hey. I'm trying to not be bullied too much by him at the moment for my performances earlier. I think it was valiant effort, and I think uh, you you should be respectful. I'm okay? extremely proud of you, but also slightly frustrated. Sorry, I just, I just a tear came to my eye when you said you were proud of me. There, that was. We practiced a lot. And you've been whitewashed, so that does not reflect well. Excuse oh, right, sorry, but this is fake news. I, <laughs> I mean, please, can you stop doing this? Um, let's let's talk a little bit about the game, sure, actually, because we, we're meant to be going into... I've waited uh, all day to watch Cypher, so let's talk about Cypher. No, ah, absolutely, and there are so many amazing games yet to come on top of that. But, uh, yeah, Victor and Cypher will be playing on Blood Run in just a moment. And something interesting that Lethal said earlier on is that it is a CIS map, and it is mm. something that Russians have adopted, and many players have, are just world-class there on Blood Run. But Victor picked it. 
Yeah, and there's, there's another That's obviously butt. a different game as well. Yeah. Are there any other butts? Yeah, it, it's a completely different. Do you, do you find that? Do you find that there's almost zero correlation between it, other than the sort of geometry? No, I, I would not say that because a lot of the the old tactics are still the same. Running the teleporters, are the same defensive positions, but. I like this word, but I do. <laughs> uh, however, with the bear in mind, in, uh, it's not quite <laughs> with the with the new champions, the new dynamics, the new physics, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it plays entirely differently, and you can play it in a number of different styles. So for me, it, it's gone from being a map I would just avoid mm -hmm. to a map I'm actually quite happy to play and quite good at, mm -hmm. just because it's completely different now. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is why Victor, I play Victor on this map, and he's incredibly strong with that anarchy. So he, he, he picked Patsy as me, and so that does again shows you the dynamics of the game, how much they've changed. But we're back into it with Anarchy on Victor. Let's do this, guys. We're into map two between Victor and Cypher. We are going to be getting a little bit of early Anarchy action. Uh, and that's actually going to be Ghost Ward used very early on. So Victor's going to recognize this. He's going to try and get himself that rocket launcher as well. And he is going to be essentially fully loaded and ready to fight. He needs to shut down Cypher as quick as possible because that's going to be his best chance to get into this map and this, this round. Yep. This could be a great prediction. He problem. knows exactly the weapons that Cypher needs and Cypher knows he knows that. And this is why we have now this Mexican standoff. Oh. No damage coming out from Victor, which is quite upsetting. Yeah, that uh, Ghost Orc's going to be up in just a second. The items that they started with... <sighs> Red and Mega have been uh, uh, taken respectively, and good walking careful there with the nail gun. Victor backing off quickly. Those close corridors can really haunt you if you go against that gun. It's such a simple thing Cypher has done at the start there by not committing to get any weapons without having the relevant knowledge, but it's something that a lot of players forget to do. Oh, the LG here from Cypher. Good damage. He's taken that Mega, looking for a rail to finish it off court. Can't quite make it. And Victor does actually get to, uh, some return fire. We have got armor. He's looking for some damage. Rail to follow up. Victor even oh, walked my. into the wall. And Cypher is going to have to uh, hold steadfast as the frag will not break open just yet. We can see how comfortable Victor is on this map compared to Corrupted Keep in that he's playing a lot better keep away and holding Cypher at bay and picking up the items as well. Did not expect that rail as well. He's wondering how on earth do I get out of this at the moment. He's right above. Rail LG comes up. And that teleporter exit, I thought that Cypher was going to be holding it for a second. That is going to be a lot of items that Cypher's going to be able to take. I think he's even delaying the mega health at the moment so that there can be a full split between the items. Uh, and this is something that only now maybe Victor is going to be recognizing. And I think this is really hard work for him. Cypher, what is that, 15 seconds between the items? Something along those lines? It doesn't even matter. He's getting that first frag straight away, and he has set up the items so he can get those perfect rotations in. Yep, and the one thing about playing as Anarchy is that you don't have to be as Ooh. urgent at pushing in because... We'll wow, what a read there from Cypher. Gets a little mid-air at the end. Found him off the spawn. Not too much damage, and he's going to have to back off because that machine gun can actually hurt a lot. And we've got to stack the size. Wow, the damage and the speed that he <laughs> came in with the Solag. Yeah, he must have done a rocket jump to get in uh, at that speed. Yeah, just rushing Cypher while Ghost Walk was down is smart play by Victor. Yeah, he recognized that sense of urgency and the movement on this champion really allows him to uh, to play like that. Exactly. You have to really, really abuse the fact that your snack is a lot greater when that Nyx is down and out of position. But that is going to be the Mega Health up taken by Cypher. We have got the Acid Split that has returned. Just about missing that rail shot. And armor up in five seconds. Is Victor going to try and make a play here of some sort? Decent round by Victor. There's oh. going to be armor. Will be taken. He's going to try and look for some damage of some sort. 125 health. And uh, Cypher missed that final rail. Rail for a rail. Both of them railable as well. And Cypher going to be on the slightly stronger stack. But there's some important shots there from Victor. Oh, and Cypher just gets himself onto the mega health in time. And it is Victor who, of course, only has the one life. Oh this round. Just making him out a little bit. I do like that. Don't want to be too predictable. And he's going to land a chunky 100 damage rocket. Yep. And as you said, there is no urgency on the side of Cypher. He has a champion advantage. 
he doesn't have the stack. And so it is, again, just playing careful, making sure he's doing enough damage on the items to keep Victor from going too aggressive. I'm, I'm worried for the Cypher at the moment, because this is the speed can come in. He's looking for the, the die raw, but it's going to be faked out, and he oh, gets oh, the rail wow. right at the end. And oh, I was going to say that, that the speed that you can get with Sawlag, you can completely outrun uh, a Ranger. And on top of that, even if the Dire Orb is used, you can just reposition yourself well, unless there are some crazy shots hit by, uh, by Cypher. And Victor wants to end it before the time is up because he has that stack. His rocket's not doing enough damage for him at the moment. The Mega's up, looking for something, but he's only on 71 health himself, and that armor is not up for a while. Cypher's just gonna wave goodbye and be like, nope, I'm not gonna get involved in this just yet. Uh, he actually needs the railgun himself, but uh, as you said before, he's he's not a sucker towards you know getting the weapons desperately. Oh, he just walks through the uh, the totem straight away. If Cypher needs to, I think he could have uh, still healed up, but actually it, it gets blown up in the end. Yeah, Cypher's extremely good and competent at using that totem just at the right time. It's it's so frustrating to, to push it against when you get a good Galena. The amount of times I died to the totem before, yeah, I can, uh, I can definitely feel that. And nail gun damage, with most of the stack completely gone, and now he's available. But he has got uh, a whole load of uh, health bubbles to take. It should yeah. be stacked well. I mean, he did have the stab, but it's just too obvious and predictable. And there was a totem on the corridor there. I'm not sure if he noticed it, but he should be able to get rid of that if possible. It's on the teleporter exit from below, but he's going to opt for that jump pad anyway, and will not be going up there. Rockets required. Solid rail. Only gets the one, but Cypher still has such a stack. And d despite Galena being quite a small champion, so much health, and now we're going to have 71 health. What a read by Cypher. Just knew exactly where the sword line was. And he's doing a great job on this Galena now of just doing sufficient damage to keep pushing Sword Light back, but not actually taking any in return. And it's just it's an incredibly hard skill to master. I've got to say fair play to Victor for getting this first round going for well, six and a half minutes now. He is trying his damnedest at the moment, and uh, Cypher is not having it easy. Uh, Rocket's that he needs. He's going to get surprised from the side at the moment. Did not know that Victor was just hiding there, and there is going to be a cheeky rail landed. Oh, totems. Huge amounts of damage. That acid does come out, but has there any damage that he can do? He tries to leave, and there is another totem, which he just about dispatches. Totems everywhere. There's, there's one other on the map somewhere. I'm trying to remember where I think he left it. I think it's down by the uh, rail. Oh, yeah. Just spotted it there on our little x-ray. Trying to... It is hear very tense. There. Two minutes into overtime. It absolutely is. And these kind of long rounds where you're really putting a lot of thought into it, whoever wins really gives himself a, a massive mental edge going into the next round. One totem down. Keep putting down the totems. This is an enormous stack uh, for Cypher, even against a Sawlag type of level. Yeah, it's, it's difficult on the Sawlag. Even though you do have the spit, you have to hit it because you're such an easy target when you come rushing in. It's got to land directly. Cypher was up on the armor a little bit prematurely. He's going to land the rail. Amazing combo there from Cypher. And Victor barely knew what hit him, the amount of damage that was coming out just then. 1-0 yep. to Cypher. Exactly what we just said. I mean, yes, you get a lot of speed. Yes, you have air movement. Yes, you're a tanky target and you have spit. But if you don't hit your shots when you're going in well, aggressive, mm -hmm. you're going to get destroyed. There's almost oh, like no. a for him. Okay, LG coming out of Cypher. Good damage. All the armor that Victor just gained from the item he picked up off the spawn. That's made completely redundant. It seems like such a long time ago we saw these first two champions face up. Victor just trying to get his injection uh, back up as well. Uh, quite a nice get out of jail free card. That rocket not quite hitting directly. There's the injection being used, he wants to get out a bit, and that last second dodge from Victor was excellent. He knew that uh, Cypher would be honed in on that teleporter. And unbelievable. So much risk in these plays, but it's somewhat paying off. I'm actually really curious what you think about a rocket jump with that, that little health to get up there. I mean, it was ballsy. He, he, I don't think he saw Cypher backing off, but 
sometimes you have to take risks. You can't just play to defend. You have to play to build sometimes. Just ban it. Does it 50 damage? Trying to move away, and Cypher is actually going to be very careful at the moment. Looking for an air rocket of some sort, but Victor is going to be taking him down. Yeah, and it's solid play. That risk paid off because he had stack to bully Cypher on the next round. Look at that damage that he's trying to do at the moment. He's going to go in, looking for a direct rocket. LG to chase him down to the ground. He's having to use the injection and it was move away. Oh that rail God. almost took him out. You can see how the fights, they can turn around at such a speed. Yeah, and that's one of the weaknesses with the Anarchy is that when you're getting away, even though you're full health, you're still in railable territory, so you have to be super careful. Look at that, taken by Anarchy, but immediately railed afterwards, so he's uh, not going to be able to enjoy any of that stack for very long whatsoever. Arna, and immediately wow. taken additional damage. What a combination of shots from Cypher. And that Anarchy's gone, it's back to 1-1, one, one, and we're in similar territory to that we were before. And Victor has the nick. So next job for Cypher, get stack and try and force out the Ghost Wall. Just know that he's right behind him, but at that stage, Victor did not have the weapon. He just wanted to get those rockets safe and sound. Five yeah. seconds now to, to the armor. And I'm not sure Victor has a rail, so that's why Cypher is somewhat sticking around middle ground, because he knows Victor needs it. Cypher's still got that healthy level of paranoia that there could be a Ghost Walk Nyx around any corner. So occasionally, you might, why on earth is he shooting a rocket at the floor when there's nothing there? Y you just get paranoid when you're playing against the Nyx. He knows where he is. Well, this could be great. Free damage, oh, but oh, the, oh. The, the jump, that timing on that was so good for Pickle. He sees that Mega, he really wants to go for it. His question was not to go for it. Oh my god. Just about taken by Cypher, but the but the ambush from Victor was excellent. But the armor's there. And Cypher has said, you know what? I'm not sure I'm ready to commit to that. He's looking to get some damage on him as he goes up. Wow, Ooh. just afterwards. He could have committed. Um, Victor still didn't have a rail, but again, he was not positive on that fact. So still very, very smart, playing it safe, backing off, making sure he can preserve two champion equality. Well, that was a chance there for some time for Victor. Not quite going to be able to make it. And I think because Cypher sees that he's going against a, a champion that doesn't have that much health. And I'm mean, pretty well, we're going to have a little ambush at the moment, but he's going to get the rocket just as he pops out the Ghost Walk. Again, Cypher feeling that he's being chased one yeah. way or another. And it's exactly that. It's just a feeling. It's, a, it's one of those situations where it's just too quiet. Something <laughs> must be up. Gonna get a drop from Cypher, or was that a little bit too crazy? He is actually gonna go in on the Mega. He didn't take it the first time round. The Acid doesn't connect at all. Decent rocket. And that should be, well, that, we'll see if that'll be enough to secure Victor uh, that armor. Crazy. I can't believe that he's going in for that. I, he's really crazy, trying to gain some of that map control to secure that armor. And in one way, I guess, that was a really smart play. Maybe he can get it. The LG, he goes up to the die roll. But that is gonna be Victor getting a frag and putting it down to Galena champion that he has been struggling against so far. Yeah, and uh, I think if I was in Victor's shoes, I would want to try and get this over and done with before the, um, before the overtime. Because you have that stack advantage, your spit is up, galena has got nothing you need to pressure in. And it's more about not letting Galena tank up and get all the weapons that he needs. Exactly. You want to try and end it as quickly as you can. It's got the stack. Surely, surely this is this is the perfect chance. Victor just needs to find that, uh, that's that chance. Yeah, but that's uh, Cypher's playing incredibly smart. You can just see sitting by the teleporter because he knows that's exactly what we just said that Victor wanted to end it. That's 150 possible damage on uh, the exit of that teleporter. Is he going towards it now? Oh, that is going to be chucky. Oh, I think only one of them actually exploded. Yeah, you're right. I saw a few pixels there. Of Beautiful Sora. Oh this, oh, this is a horrible position to be in. If you're Victor, you are going to be going down. You walk into that room, get the armor, and that is actually, I mean, it's not a choke point. It's just a dangerous zone. If someone yeah. steps in, you have no escape route whatsoever. And Victor yet to get around. I, I called him getting one in this map, and he's made the rounds very, very close. It's so close. It is to the last second. But as soon as it gets there, Cypher just got the edge. And that's just a bit sloppiness from Victor. I think that's definitely some experience. Uh, Playing into that. We were making an example of oh, a possible fight at this stage. 
uh, Victor and Cypher both backing up. We're saying that even some of the experienced players are feeling the nerves on this. I think Cypher's one of the few people who really ha is hardened enough that he can still perform at a really high level, yeah. even when the stakes as high as this are on the line. Like we're saying Victor's being a bit crazy at times, but those maneuvers against the majority of players would probably pay off. It's just that Cypher's taking the right positions and able to hit the right shots that Victor is not being able to do it. That's good damage there from Cypher. He's got to watch out. Oh, there is the armor that he really wanted to swing by, but he just manages to dodge away. Small amount of safety for Victor. And Cypher's playing extremely well against Anarchy, but in my mind, the right way to play against Anarchy is to try and get him in choke points, mm -hmm. um, forcing him into these close confrontation, con uh, confrontations. Uh, he's not that strong. You can do a lot of damage and then kill him on the way out. Oh, the damage that he's done again. Rail won't be able to come out. You and Victor does need some armor if he wants to keep himself alive. And he just doesn't show his face. If a rail landed, he was going down. And Cypher's still on that side. He's got all the information he needs about, about what Victor was doing. And it doesn't even matter that the damage wasn't done. Information is, is sometimes even more useful than just a bit of splash or a rail landed that uh, is going to get healed up. What has Cypher done? He's looking for the rockets to land a rail to finish up. And of course, Cypher's going to be landing it. Even if Victor hits his, it, it wouldn't have what mattered. And Cypher just finishes him off. And it's uh, worth noting that if Cypher wins this round, he will be qualified to the Quake World Championships at QuakeCon. Ouch, what? That damage there. It's like 80, 90 damage. Cypher clucking to get himself uh, an armor of some sort, and he's just going to rocket jump up straight away. Very nice jump. Only actually losing 25 health from that. Uh, that's actually quite impressive to do. You can often take up to 50 or more damage from a, a, a full rocket jump. So he's really managing his health as carefully as he can. And Victor Vic with the air. Uh, Victor's got the ghost walk up now, and Cypher has around about 15 to 20 seconds on it. So it might be that Victor looks to go aggressive if he can find it. He's got to do something. It's it's crunch time at the moment. You've got less than two and a half minutes. You're going to be going down 3 0 3 0 unless you can pull out some magic. And Victor's going to be feeling very outclassed, but control those nerves. He knows the ghost walks down again because Cypher just popped it, so this has to be an opportunity. This could be it. He's going to actually go for the... Oh, he tried to go in for the perforation, oh, looking for the rockets. He does get the frag in the end. So he ties up the champion score, going against the ranger, looking for him My off the spawn. Gosh, he made that so much more difficult than he needed to <laughs> Oh, oh my days, Cypher <laughs> with the dire roll play. There's still time though for Victor to do something about this with his Sorlag. But uh, yeah, Victor is going to be heartbroken from that. He's got one nine. and a half minutes to save himself in the winner bracket. That's it. At this stage, you don't want to be thinking yet, yeah, well, at least I got another chance in the loser bracket. Yeah. You still need to be absolutely focused on this. Yeah, it's always possible. Only needs one more kill. kill. There have been harder things. Oh, he tries to go for the dialogue to get the next frag, but he gets the rocket. Cypher is going to get the 3-0 on Blood Run and get himself to QuakeCon in the Quake World Championships. I guess we expected it, to be fair. I it mean, was almost never in doubt at some point he'd get there, and he's done it early. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. It would not be a QuakeCon, Quake World Championships, without Cypher. Mm -hmm. We had said previously that Victor might pose a problem, mm -hmm. but this just goes to show the absolute class that Cypher oozes in his gameplay. I mean, I was I was honestly expecting Victor to maybe put up more of a fight in terms of getting the rounds on the board and just, yeah. getting, the, just getting those numbers there, but it, although it was 3-0, 3-0, that Victor, was close. He, he showed he been. showed something nice. He showed that he is a talented player and that he can push Cypher and force him to sure really the corrupt heat was an absolute mauling, mm -hmm. but Blood Run went to the absolute limit of the game. It was either in overtime or on the last champion for each of the rounds. Yep. I mean that's some I guess that's some condolence for Victor thinking I actually went toe to toe with perhaps the best player in the world at this point in time.